Welcome back. We're talking baby your baby and along with that today pertussis and whooping cough Dr. John McCarter OBGYN from Intermountain Central Orem Clinic is with us yep. today. Thanks for coming in. No problem. I don't know that you always uh, connect the two with whooping cough or pertussis and an OBGYN. So let's start off first of all pertussis. What exactly is it? Pertussis again known as whooping cough is an acute lung infection. It has that, that characteristic whooping sound uh, when, when kids are coughing and that's why uh, people start noticing, hey, that doesn't sound like a normal cold yeah. cough to me. And how do we connect uh, the vaccines and an OBGYN? Because I don't usually put those two together. True. Well, we're actually the first line of defense. Um, children, are, uh, especially babies, have the, the worst outcome when they get whooping cough. It has the highest death rate, highest hospitalization rate. Well, if we can vaccinate the mothers, they found that the antibodies actually will cross the placenta and get to the baby. So when the baby's born, it already has some immunity to the whooping cough. And plus, the mother cannot infect her own infant later on. Does that take away the need from getting uh, the vaccine later for the child because they're already? No, it, that vaccine will wear off. Uh, the infant should have their own primary series with the Tdap shot, and that's tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. And they should complete that uh, in their youth. Okay, and um, also you're saying that mothers can pass this along to babies, and I think a lot of people don't realize this, but you may have had those vaccines, but they wear off in your teenage and adult years. Absolutely, and so that's why we're having all pregnant women, regardless of when they had the vaccine before, they should be immunized during the third trimester of pregnancy in order to help their infant in the future. And was um, older thinking that they just lasted forever, or what's happened? Yeah, our kind of thought with all vaccines is they last forever, but the more we learn about vaccines, the more we find out, hey, we need boosters later on. All right, doctor, thanks so much for coming no in problem. and answering our questions. All right. Chris, back to you. Heidi, thank you.